Hi my loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to smash some myths on frequent questions I get asked about on yoga. Questions like, gym better or yoga, which to lose it faster, which asana to do to reduce my belly fat. I want to get exact flexibility like you, how, how long will I take? One month, one week, exact same to same itch. Having said this, yoga is not about how high my leg can go or what a handstand I can do or the amazing splits or the amazing contortion that my body can do or if I can even touch my toes. But yoga is about what you learn along the way down there. Basically, yoga is about loving and accepting yourself wherever you are, no matter what your body type, color, age, religion, any of those things. It does not matter because yoga is a union between the body, mind, emotion, soul to make you a better human being. Yes, yoga has a numerous amount of physical advantages and along the way you might even get flexible. You might even get a beautiful set of abs, nicely toned glutes. Yes, but more importantly than all of that is your mental, physical emotional health that needs to get better that needs to get stronger and with yoga that is what's going to help you so now to answer your questions one is yoga better or gym to lose weight honestly try both if you want to lose weight definitely go to the gym go running do any cardio exercises where your heartbeat is going to be whoop pumped up so high and you're going to sweat like a crazy person for you to lose weight. So you should try both gym and yoga and see where your body is comfortable and what your body really likes. And combining both of them will actually benefit you a lot because your body is going to be nicely strengthened and stretched out as well. Number two. Which asana to do to reduce my belly fat? Now this question is beautiful because it's not only for in yoga but it's also for any fitness that you're into. I wish I could tell you there is something as spot reduction that you could do one exercise or one asana and reduce that target of an area. I wish I could tell you there is an asana or an exercise which is going to help you in the spot reduction but there isn't. If you're going to lose weight, you have to lose weight everywhere. That is life. Now suppose if you want to tone up your hands and you're going to do let's say plank. I'm saying plank because I've already done a video on planks so you can watch it. Now yes, you're doing planks. Now yes, your target is your arms but your shoulders are also going to get worked. Your abs are also going to get worked. Your glutes are also going to get worked. Your thighs are also going to get worked and your calf muscles are also going to get worked. Now because everything is getting worked, can you see? Yes, your arms are your primary focus but guess what? Everything else is also working with your planks. Number moon, three. How can I get as flexible as you? Honestly, with hard work. I honestly wish I could give you a magic pill or a formula or a secret or a recipe that you could just eat and get fit and get healthy and get flexible and get whatever it is that you want but there isn't. The only answer to that is you need to put in the effort day in, day out when you feel like giving up. You don't give up. You keep doing it again and again and again. Do not for the love of universe or God give up. Do not give up on yourself. This journey is for you. You are doing this so you get better. And you can run, crawl, walk, whatever it is that you want, but do not give up, okay? You are so close. I know it may seem really far, but you know what? You were closer than you were yesterday. So, do not give up. Till I see you next time, practice daily, stay safe, stay humble.